run their sets as well as they want to because of the pressure. They don't have anybody to break the defense down. They've got some three-point shooters, though, including Amanda Nislight. He's a little look away and scoops it up with the right. This is a Rutgers defense ranked third in the country, allowing just 49 points per game. Bolte with the second chance got it. Well, you can see why she was a high school All-American. Miss Iowa, player of the year in the state, coming off that huge first round game against Georgia Tech. National championships. Ezell. Nice. Nice to the bucket, and she'll head to the line. Well, she took advantage of Janai not being able to get in front off the pick and roll. And we talk about how important the dribble drive is to the attack pressure. Take a look. You see, she's got the advantage, Giselle, on the slower Janai. And uh, that's what you do against pressure. You attack it with the dribble if you can. In the uh, just blossoming of the fan support for Iowa State. And they've been in the top ten in the NCAA in the last ten years. And it's plays like that that gets the crowd into the game. we got four guards out there now, so any ball screen is a switchable situation. Oh, wow. boy, is that a shooter's roll? It died on the back iron. 10, Carson, the three-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year, and they lost Ezell and didn't jump out at her. And Heather Ezell with her fourth three of the ball game. Racing. They use a lot of that shot clock on the dribble. And there's my count. She's not really a center, a pure post player. But she's got a little bit of quickness on Vaughn. Take a look inside. So Vaughn was on Nislight. Nislight did a good job of getting that ball softly on the rim. Iowa State lingering with the two seed. Anderson good. See, that's good basketball because they know she's got three fouls. And Anderson recognizes it, so she's not going to get a lot of resistance. And the three ball from Nislight, that is the seventh of the game for Iowa State. And look. And Danae stuck it into the hand block by Janine. And finds her way into some free space to score. One of the reasons she was recruited to give this backboard a little bit of athleticism on both the offensive and defensive end. Two-man game. Lacey forced it up with the left and got it to go. Boy, she did a nice job of coming under control in the lane. She picked up her dribble. And that's what they need. They need to score and stay pace. Lacey, wide open three. Now remember, Lacey is an international player from Australia. And she's used to the international line slightly deeper. How about Allison Lacey? She came to Iowa as a foreign exchange student from Australia. Bill Fennelly didn't even know he had a player eight miles from his house. Nislight for three. Hanging around. That's all you want to do. TV timeout to TV timeout. On the inbound, Bolte the back door and the assist from Lacey. You, you can say that the Cyclones went 14 rounds. And uh, technical knockout, but they, uh, they played well. 69 to 58, the 